good afternoon, whenever your teacher is showing this to you. We are so happy to be in your classroom at North Middle with Mr. Trenkwald or at the Kennedy School with Mr. Kennedy. We at the high school remember our days at Saddle Rock, Baker, and Kennedy where we were first introduced to our instruments by Dr. Wilson, Mrs. Fogarty, or Mrs. Kempton, and the appreciation for music that was enhanced by Mr. Trenkwald and Mr. Virgilio at North Middle. At North High, you have the opportunity to continue playing your instrument in the band or orchestra classes, and as a bonus, you can register for the chamber music class, which meets every morning before school starts. This class is a wonderful introduction to the beauty of chamber and to expand your music range by playing music from Mozart and Beethoven to jazz and the Beatles. Chamber music is one of the most intimate yet sophisticated of all genres of music performance. The subtle nonverbal dialogue which must be maintained in the rehearsals and throughout the performance is difficult to describe. Chamber music has the power to enrich lives. That is why we hope that with this video, your curiosity will grow and you will further explore this nurturing world. As part of our chamber music class, we also hold live music concerts every Friday morning. Before COVID, all the students would bring all their instruments and play in the lobby. As you can see from our last clip, the chamber music class sometimes strays from playing classical music. In our last clip, we were playing jazz. Chamber music does not have to be classical, like Mozart or Beethoven. Musicians can play popular songs in a small group setting and it is still considered chamber music, like Yo-Yo Ma and Joshua Bell have done. That's why when our lobby music ensemble plays Duke Ellington, Bob Dylan, and the Beatles, it is still chamber music. restrictions force us to change our approach as concerts in the lobby are no longer feasible. This past year, we have been broadcasting live Zoom performances to the students and staff from the music room. No matter what happens, the show must go on. This year, our Friday performances also featured our own version of Jeopardy. The way this works is that one of our hosts asks a question about the composer, history, or meaning of the piece we are going to play next, and the people on Zoom either already know the answer or have to look for it online. If you like playing your instrument, there are three ways you can play it. The first is playing alone, like when you practice, but that's not much fun, right? Another is playing in a big band or orchestra, like the class you are in right now. The third is playing chamber music. Now, we understand that many of you don't know what chamber music is yet, well, chamber music arrangements are designed for each player to have their own separate, unique part, but when played simultaneously, creates beautiful pieces of art. This, we find, is the most spiritually uplifting. Each of us has the ultimate responsibility of matching our own part with that of the other musicians in the duet, trio, or quartet. Traditionally, only the most accomplished young musicians attempt to study chamber music. The Lobby Music Project hopes to demonstrate how student instrumentalists on all levels can become engaged in playing chamber music and more importantly, become lifelong listeners of chamber music. Chamber music started in the Baroque period with solo and trio sonatas. Before the Baroque period, there was no difference between small and large ensembles. The Baroque period saw the beginning of an obvious difference between orchestras and chamber ensembles. Chamber music became more popular during the classical period focused in the city of Vienna. Composers like Haydn, Mozart and Beethoven began writing string quartets, piano trios, piano quartets, piano quintets, string sextets, woodwind octets, serenades, and divertimenti. Because these sonatas did not need large concert halls or churches, they could perform in people's homes. Thus, the term chamber was very fitting. Here is an example of how we put a similar trio together. When they have something as difficult as this passage, to try it like this, do it twice as slowly, 
And also, Mizuki, you play it twice as well. We're at 24, 24. One, uh, let me see, where is 24? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And this is the final product. Now we asked a few students why chamber music is so meaningful to them. Chamber music is great. It's a really nice way to start off your day, you know, play some music right before school, whether you're online, remote, or hybrid. It's just, it's a really great way to start off your day. And honestly, doing it for two years has made me realize that I wish I did it before. And it's, a, I love Mr. Orkowski, I love everyone who's doing it. It's something that I, I will definitely remember when I go up to college. How has chamber music affected me? Well, I was already in love with the orchestra to begin with when I first discovered chamber. But when I played in my first chamber group, it was like a new awakening. Why was it so wonderful? Well, once in a while, we just click into place. There comes a fleeting moment when each of us, playing highly individual and often complicated parts, actually become an ensemble. We blend. It's an intense feeling, but it's hard to describe. There's a kind of whoosh to it, the, sen the sensation that you are part of something immensely powerful, something bigger than your own individual capability. The idea that you are part of not only what you yourself are making, but also what the others are creating. Though all our parts are unique, we make a single complex voice. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. This is strangely emotional, and when it happens, I think we all feel it. We recently had a live chamber music recital that was live streamed from our small gym at North High, with the wind and brass players finally playing with us because the gymnasium is large enough for proper social distancing. Here's some footage.
Thank you for taking the time to listen to us. Have a great day and see you soon at the high school. This is live from room 218, signing off.